peace of mind is a state of being. It's something that cannot be searched for externally. Peace of mind is a self-study. It allows you to watch from within. In the beginning, it's a stillness of physicality, of not moving. And then when we study more, as we observe more, we then start seeing that there is a stillness that is within us that we can seek refuge in. The stillness is inherent in all of us. We just need to give ourselves time to be reacquainted with it, to reconnect with it. And once we have established this relationship, it becomes our friend. We're reminded that we don't need to hold on, that we can just go with the flow. We reach a state of being where no external force can take us away from this internal peace and it allows us to perceive from a perspective that is unhampered by questions or judgments where it allows us to be more dynamic and lucid in every situation, great or small. I'm often asked where is the best setting to meditate my reply is every setting. One can try to find the most peaceful place on the planet, but I assure you, if you are not honest within your own being, you will not find that refuge. I've been to places that people call paradise, white sands, blue skies, clear waters, but yet the being that I behold and I share space with is in turmoil, so you cannot find any place that is peaceful. The peaceful place can only be found within. One realizes that no matter where you are, if you can find that peace within yourself, it doesn't matter what setting it is. Even if there is war now happening outside this very door, outside this very room that we are talking, I can still meditate. Because for many of us, within our own being, there is a war happening. One must acknowledge this, seek peace within ourselves, so that eventually one can become the eye of the storm.